Welcome to CPCW Live. Today, we've got an exclusive first look at the Aeris GeForce RTX 5090D Master Ice, a flagship card redefining limits. But there's a twist. This card has been tailored specifically to comply with international export regulations. So, does it still pack the punch you'd expect from NVIDIA's RTX 50 series? Let's dive in. The RTX 5090D, based on NVIDIA's new Blackwell architecture, is the next leap forward. With features like the 5th gen Tensor Cores and 4th gen RT Cores, it brings AI rendering to the forefront. It's also the first GPU to feature GDDR7 memory, offering a bandwidth of 1,792 gigabytes per second, nearly double the RTX 4090D. And yes, it's specifically tuned to meet certain regulatory limits, but trust me, that hasn't slowed it down one bit. Let's break down the numbers. The 5090D boasts 21,760 CUDA cores, a 49% jump over the RTX 4090, a base GPU clock of 2,410 megahertz, with boosts pushing past 2,655 megahertz, 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, ideal for 4K ray tracing and AI workloads. All this runs at a 575 WTDP, so you'll need a robust power setup. Performance-wise, the RTX 5090D crushes it. In synthetic benchmarks, Time Spy Extreme saw a 40% improvement over the RTX 4090D. Port Royal hit a 154% increase in ray tracing performance. And the real kicker? NVIDIA's DLSS 4.0. Powered by a new transformer-based model, it boosts frame generation efficiency by 40%. Games like Cyberpunk 2077 saw FPS skyrocket from 83 to over 450, with 4 times frame generation enabled. In real-world tests, the RTX 5090D delivered stunning results at 4K. Black Myth, Wukong ran at an average of 105 FPS, up from 85 on the 4090D. Cyberpunk 2077 hit 300 plus FPS with ray tracing and DLSS 4.0 enabled. Even demanding titles like Baldur's Gate 3 saw an impressive 60% improvement in minimum FPS. The enhanced geometry processing and DLSS 4.0 bring unparalleled realism. From intricate lighting effects to hair strand rendering, this card is a game changer. Now let's dive into AI and productivity. It's worth noting that due to export restrictions, the AI performance of the RTX 5090D has been slightly limited compared to the standard RTX 5090. However, don't let that fool you. This card still boasts AI capabilities that outshine any other consumer-grade GPU on the market. In our tests, with FP4 Precision Mode, AI rendering times were reduced by up to 70% compared to FP8. Blender render times improved by over 40% compared to the RTX 4090D, making it a powerhouse for 3D artists. Video creators will also appreciate the dual 6th gen decoders, which support advanced 4,2,2,10-bit codecs, ensuring smoother editing workflows for high-resolution projects. Even with these restrictions, the RTX 5090D remains a dominant force for creators and AI developers. Whether it's training large models or rendering complex scenes, this card delivers efficiency and power that remain unmatched in the consumer market. Now let's talk design. The Aeris RTX 5090D Master Ice features an all-white aesthetic, a perfect fit for sleek, modern builds. Its wind force cooling system includes three bionic fans and a rear-mounted fourth fan, keeping temps under 72 degrees Celsius even under full load and for those who love customization, the RGB fusion lighting and a fully customizable LCD screen make this card a visual delight. So, is the RTX 5090D worth it? Absolutely. Despite its export regulation tuning, it delivers unmatched gaming and productivity performance, easily outshining its predecessors. If you're an enthusiast or creator looking for the pinnacle of GPU tech, this card deserves a spot in your setup Thanks for watching. Drop your thoughts in the comments. What game or workload would you stress test on the RTX 5090D? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into cutting edge tech. See you next time.